welcome back to my channel. It's warm today, and I am very excited, in case you couldn't tell from the sheer excitement in my voice. Since it's warm, I thought, hey, let's make a craft about a warm place. You'll never guess what that place is. It's got a lot of blue, a lot of water, and it starts with an O and ends with a shin, or some people like to call it the C. Yeah, I pretty much gave it away. But these are the colors we need to use, yada yada boring stuff. Oh, you also need a scrap piece of paper. I need a scrap piece of paper. Start by folding the paper over. The white one could be any color. I just chose white. You can cover it up anyways. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now we're adding on some yellow and I found the reverse carrot pencil. I also found the carrot pencil today, but that's not relevant. So I should just... Anyways, marking out that area and doing a very bad job of it, but that's okay. We only need a bit of the yellow anyway, so if it doesn't fit, which I know it doesn't fit, um, it's fine because the blue of the ocean waves will just go over top of it. Oh, and we're moving on to the glue. I got a new glue gun. It's nice and shiny and big and glue-y. Yeah, just putting that along the inside of that. And then setting the piece of paper we cut to right here, like that. And then cutting more paper like this. Yeah. Yeah, just making sure it fits and that it looks good and that I like it. And I like it, so I'm drawing the general area so I know an idea of where to put the glue so it doesn't get a little too much glue there. Yeah, you know how they said this was my glue gun? It's actually my mom's, but she said I could use it, so thank you, mom. Anyways, sticking this, sticking it on there. All right, yeah, I'm having trouble here. Mm-hmm, yes, here you go. This is actually sped up, this video, like times two. I'm just slow, okay? Don't judge the process. Oh, here we're trimming off the edges, if you can even see. I'm sorry if the thing looks weird. Something was up with my tablet, so it's like weird. Anyways, cutting out the waves, you know, just your basic wave cutting. Cut up the blue paper into strips and then cut the strips in half with a wavy line and then you have two waves. And you just do that a bunch of times. I think I actually need to make the waves longer though, so. Um, yeah, cause you know the thing about where I said that it would cover everything? Well, the blue wasn't long enough, so it didn't cover any, everything. Yeah. Anyways. Just putting glue on there. Oh, and this is the first wave, so you're just going to glue the whole thing down. Do not do this with the rest of the waves, so just the first one. Oh, uh, yes, and I'm messing everything up. Okay. You put it right there, roll it out with a sacred reverse carrot pencil. Oh, my camera's back to normal. Wow. All right, so this this is the second wave, and you're gonna put it on there, and you're gonna bend the wave up a bit so it looks like a wave. And then you're gonna press it out with the scissors because I realized that I might mess up my sacred reverse carrot pencil. Yeah. Swipe off all the extra glue. Mm-hmm, show it to the camera. I'm sure everyone wants to see that. Yeah, so interesting. Ignore the background noise. My siblings are playing a video game and they're yelling at each other. Anyways, anyways, I've said that way too many times. Sticking the wave on like that, folding it up. I actually made more waves and stuck them in between in those spaces because I thought those spaces looked ugly. Just saying, not to be rude to the spaces, but they're kind of lacking. Anyways, sticking that under there because I put the glue on wrong. You know, I had to mess up at least on everything. I don't even know why I'm teaching this. I should just be doing this and talking. No one follow these. These are not, these are not good instructions. They're, they're not at all good. Anyways, this is where I realized that this is not going to work because my waves aren't long enough. And I was like, Oh, well, I either give up or I do something else. And I said, well, if I'm, I'm in too far now. I can't give up. Oh, and we're back using the sacred carrot pencil again. And this is why it's not a good idea. Oh, and we finished. Okay. And cutting the thing off. And 
wait. Okay, yeah, the clips got mixed up. Whatever. Uh-huh, going in with a white paint pen. I don't usually use paint pens on paper because, you know, they like to chew it up. But this is cardstock, although I've never used it on cardstock either. So pretty much I was just, I don't know. I didn't have anything white that would do that, so I used that. Well, I had paint, but this was closer to me, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, it didn't cart tear up the cardstock as much, except on the white, on the yellow parts. So, yeah. Except on the yellow parts. Yeah. So we're just gonna sit here for an hour, watching me color things in white. Won't that be fun? <sighs> yeah, take your time. It's not like people have things to do. I feel like I should talk. I don't know. Like right now, instead of just sitting here watching me do things. I can't believe I went so slow. I felt like I went faster. This is speeded up. What the heck is wrong with me? Gosh. Well, since um we have quite a bit of time left on our hands, um look for the where I hit the sub in here. I could have drawn it with glue. I could have drawn it with a paint pen. I and colored it over top of it. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not good at talking. In case you haven't noticed yet, um, I'm wonderful at explaining things, you know. That's all. Uh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you understood any of that, then can you please explain it to me? Because I didn't, and I said it. Yeah. Anyways, finishing up with these little waves here. And I only did the few first few waves because, you know, it isn't as foamy when you go farther out to sea. Now I'm coloring in little white spots on the yellow for, like, the foam that doesn't have a wave under it. Anyways, this is where it started to get really torn up the paper because probably because I was like coloring in a whole area instead of just a tiny little section. Yeah. And I kept going over it. This spot right here is extra trouble because we draw something else there later with paint pens. I can't tell you. I think it's in the next clip, but I don't know. Yes. This is it. This is our little friend, Joe the starfish. He is an innocent-ish little starfish. He may or may not be evil. We're not sure yet. He just, he goes through a few phases, you know? Um, I mess him up. He looks a little chunky. Um, I give him an outline. That's now, see, to try and fix it. Because, you know, outlines will fix it, right? Well, no, they didn't. But it's fine. It's just, it's just who Joe is, you know? I'm just, you know, coloring on him. I had like 10 hundred different faces to him. You only see a few of them, but you know. Oh, and we're moving on to the paper. Yeah, so here I'm pretty much just making the sky in a very complicated way. You could just do this before the yellow of the sand. I actually recommend doing it before the yellow of the sand. But of course I make everything harder for myself, so I'm doing this weird complicated thing. Oh yeah, and my glue gun ran out of ammo, so I had to refill it. Anyways. <laughs> mm -hmm. This pretty much explains itself. Sometimes I feel like I should just play the videos without me talking. star entertainment right here oh I added a face to Joe yeah that face looks a little derpy now yeah well quick story while I'm doing this stupid thing that ends up pretty much ruining my whole 
creation, um, every character I create, I want to name Joe. Like, I don't know why. It's just some weird thing. Like, I found a ladybug last night while I was playing cards with my brothers and my mom. And I was like, his name is Joe. And I was like, I name everything Joe, though. But his name is still Joe. And so I name everything Joe. Not that you care, but, you know. Oh, yeah, and I noticed he was looking a little um, sinister with those eyebrows he somehow developed. I didn't even draw them, so I don't know how they got there. And it was creeping me out. And his mouth was lopsided, which was also making me kind of, you know, uh, to fix that. So, yeah, I pretty much just changed his entire face. But that was a failure, and you'll see why. Trying to add in a mouth, but it turns into a mustache because the mouth looked weird, and I was pretty much done with it at that point. I was just like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this right now. Um, I'll, I'll, what was I doing here? Oh, right, I was stalling. Mm-hmm. Stalling while I was thinking on what to do. Stalling. I came back with the face all cleaned up. Well, not cleaned up, just gone. Adding in a new one. This one, I think, is the face I kept for our good friend Joe, the starfish, who may or may not be evil. He needs a shorter name. But if I call him Joe, some people, uh, my family might think he's Joe the ladybug. Um, so I can't do that. Anyways, I gave him some little eyes. He's looking off to the side. No one knows what he's looking at. He's just looking off to the side. Anyways, now we're working on the person. That's right, I said person. I am drawing a person. You get to see oh, a very complicated way of drawing people. Basically, you draw a stick figure. And then you add on hair. Like that. Mm-hmm. Some nice hair. Then you give him shoulders, and you add circles into the shoulders with a line on it. Um, then I'm trying to figure out the proportions. Oh, I added on a bag. That's a bag, in case you're wondering. You'll tell him. I think it gets better in the future. Anyways, I'm just adding the outline of the arms to under the hair so I know the basic proportions of things. Oh, and here, um, that was a little thing with my fingers. That was a very complex um, measurement I like to call um, finger, where you hold your finger up to a certain size and hope it doesn't change while you are moving your hands. Yeah, I use that um, measurement a lot. Adding in her legs, let me just tell you about the feet. Feet have always been a bit of a problem for me. I'm not the best at drawing them, okay? I'll admit to it. Um, I can do them okay from the front. I used They used to look really bad, okay? But I've gotten better. From the back, though, I don't even know what human feet look like from the back, okay? How am I supposed to draw it if I don't know what it looks like? And this is what I'm thinking about while trying to figure out how to draw this arm, which I'm having trouble on. How... Am I going to draw the feet? I, I was just very confused. And I was sitting there drawing this arm, thinking, how am I going to draw the feet? And so I was messing up the arm. And I was like, okay, well, I have to stop thinking about this right now so I can fix the arm. And luckily, I didn't have to draw the hand because I'm kind of not that great with hands either. Um, we're adding on her bathing suit. Stalling for time, you know, erasing and redrawing lines in the same exact place they were before. You can tell when I'm stalling, I'll do things that are, like, really obvious, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, this was needed. Um, I gave her bathing suit stripes, you know, because she was going to be kind of, you know, black and white themed. That's her little cover-up, but instead of a full cover-up, I decided to do a skirt because a full cover-up would look kind of weird. Oh, and here we go with the feet. It looks like a nub with the duck bill glued to it, okay? I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat this. It's awful, okay? I tried drawing it with toes. That didn't help. I tried 
drawing it the way you think a human foot would look from the back, and that didn't work either. I tried drawing it with shoes on it, and that didn't work. It literally looked like garbage. I could not figure out how to draw these feet, and I pretty much was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave them like this, because... I'll have to figure something out later. That's that's future Jenny's problem. And here we go, Connor. Okay, and it's done. Do you enjoy those few moments of silence where you didn't have to hear me talk about how bad I am at drawing feet? I'm sure you did. Anyways, fitting her to the thing, gluing her on, yada yada. Yep, just gluing her on. I think that's enough glue. Yeah, so as you can tell, I still haven't figured out what to do with the feet, but by now I've pretty much given up. I'm like, she's just gonna be an alien with no feet. And then I was like, wait, what if she's standing in the sand? Like, why would there be a lady, this person, in the swimsuit and a beach cover-up, turning away from the beach with a bag, standing in the sand? That makes no sense. Why? Just why? I mean, I did make a starfish named Joe with a mustache. I took away the mustache, though, so give me some credit here. I was like, okay, so, no. Not in the sand. In the sand is, um, in the sand is just, just weird. Oh, I'm adding in the sun. Yeah. So I added to, uh, I added like a little sand dune she was standing on, or behind. Um, yeah. So, just coloring this in. Oh, that white thing was just the scrap piece of paper, which you should color in brown. Or just use a brown piece of paper. I just couldn't find one. Um, my little brother, Colin, is coloring it in. Yeah, for me. So, yes, there are. There are. There's me adding in beach freckles, and I call them beach freckles, yes. Anyways, here is the part where I just hold it up in front of the camera like an idiot. That's pretty much what I do all the time though. Cutting out some little leaves, just cut out like four or five of them. I only used four. Here's the colored in piece. There's his hand. He wanted to say hi. So everybody say hi to Colin in the comments. We all love Colin, you know, he's so sweet. Anyways, cutting out uh, off a little piece so you know it'll do and this is a very, very complex thing, so it's a shame I didn't show it on camera. Or is that a frame? I'm just twisting the paper around pretty much to make a trunk. That's right, we're making a tree. Not just any tree, folks. We're making a 3D palm tree. Yes, yes. You may cheer. You may applaud. I will get a award someday. But not for my filming skills because I still suck at that. Anyways, oh yeah, and my drawing the feet, because here's where I um, added in that dune, because I was not feeling the whole standing under the sand thing. Oh, I just gave it some beach freckles to um, match it up a bit. I do call them beach freckles. I think it's cuter than whatever the heck you want to call them. I guess they're grains of sand, but I call them beach freckles, so there. Mm -hmm, just adding that on. Uh huh, and we got the leaves now. Oh, yes, and uh, this is where I added the little triangle cuts and sides of the things. Oh, and we skip ahead to where we're drawing lines in them and folding them in half. You can't forget that part. Oh, then we're cutting off the top of that, cutting out a little circle-ish shape that should fit around that area. Yeah, then we're putting glue on it, making a mess, almost sticking it to our desk. Um, putting glue on it, sticking that there, uh, yeah, 
and just getting glue everywhere um, so it'll stay on that little piece of paper um, not your desk you don't want it to stay on your desk so yeah we got that on yay um, just trimming off the edges mm -hmm. trimming trimming the edges yeah there we go so we're back over to our beach scene and we're adding in some hot glue and again definitely not winning any awards for um, my filming skills because you can't see anything that's happening I'll just be an amazing commentator for you and actually tell you what's happening over there basically I hold down the paper thing and I use the glue thing to put glue around the paper thing so the paper thing doesn't fall off the beach thing basically it. And this is where I found out that I was an awful camera person and decided to actually show you what's happening by turning the stupid paper around. There you go. Oh, and I've already put a leaf on. Anyways, just glue them on like that. A little glue. A little leaf. Then I'm coloring in the clouds and I say, hey, why don't I use white out? Which actually is a good idea because white out is whiter than the other thing I was using, paint markers. I lost my brain for a second. It was even there in the first place. Anyways, just coloring that in. And, oh, we're adding in, this is, um, these are Fred and George, the birds. Um, I'm drawing Fred right now, um, and I they looked too much like McDonald M's probably just because I had McDonald's food um, that night, but anyways, I'm trying to make them look more bird-like, but we all know I suck at a few things when it comes to drawing. Feet, eyes, birds, and flowers. I can do flowers okay, it's just birds are not my specialty. So I'm saying, okay, they're, they're good for now, until I figured out they weren't and that they actually sucked. Oh. Sorry, I'm not even commenting about the next thing I'm doing. Some people may be wondering what's happening, and I could just not tell you, but since I'm a nice person, I will. I'm adding nail polish to the paper. Yeah, that may be um, a dumb idea, but I am adding nail polish to the paper. I added it to a lot of the paper that you didn't see because I decided to do it off camera. Um, I added it to her hair, and I added it to her little skirt thing, and I added it to the waves, I should have added it to Joe. Oh, I didn't know. Oh well. Anyways, you probably have never heard of putting uh, nail polish on paper, but neither have I, so, you know. And here's the finished thing. You could do something else. I used to make these all the time when I was eight, so, you know, catch you next time.